everybody. My name is Mouse Deer, and I'm one of the EYC animals you might not see that often. Like you, many children are now learning from home, and their families had to turn their homes into schools. Meet my friend Anne. She loves learning from home. Anne's family created a space where she can practice her reading and read all the books she loves. She also practices her writing and yesterday she started writing letters to all of her friends. Anne even has a space where she can get creative and practice her painting. She tries really hard to finish all her work by herself. But when she gets stuck, there's always a grown-up around to help. Anne's teacher arranged that she could meet her friends and her teachers online. A grown-up helped Anne to set up a meeting with her teachers and friends. For her to be successful, she had to remember the same rules she always remembered in school. Soon, you will also have the chance to meet your teachers and friends online. For you to be successful, you will also have to remember the three rules we have in school. Do you remember what they are? The three rules we follow at school are... Be ready. Be respectful. And... Be safe. What would this look like in the virtual world? During the live interactions with your teacher and friends, you can show that you are ready by doing the following things. The first thing is to make sure that you have Zoom installed on your computer. Then, it's really important to make sure that your devices are fully charged and you might need headphones. Also, always make sure that you are on time for your Zoom session with your teacher. Equally important is to dress appropriately. You can't wear your swimsuit or your pajamas. How can we show that we are being respectful during the live interactions with our teachers and friends. Just like at school, it is important to take turns. Your classmates will be logging in from home and if everybody speaks at the same time, you might not be able to hear each other. Your teacher might mute your microphone until you get the hang of it. Listen when others are speaking so that you know how to respond. Raise your hand when you want to speak. Make sure that your teacher can see you holding up your hand in front of the screen. Being safe online is as important as being safe when you're riding your bike on a busy road. Always have a grown-up in the same room during live interactions, or even if you are searching the UIC YouTube channel. A grown-up can help you when you get stuck and protect you against inappropriate content. Never share any personal information like your telephone number and where you live while online. Not even during a live interaction with your teacher and friends. Check the background of your video for personal items. Little Billy Yes classmates might just get distracted by the pair of underwear hanging behind him. This is how GIS's three rules 
apply to the virtual world. Soon, you will meet your teachers and friends online via Zoom. Are you ready? Are you respectful? Are you safe? Before I go and say goodbye, one last thing you need to do. Turn to the grown-up next to you and say thank you for all their efforts to help you learn at home. Now, give yourself a massive pat on the back for the fantastic learning that you are doing. Your teachers are so proud of you. We cannot wait to meet you during the live interactions. Remember to be ready, respectful and safe. Bye-bye!